Good morning. It's week two in San Francisco, and we just came back from our road trip to the coast. If you want to know more about this trip, you can watch it in the next episode. This week, it's actually a short week, so there is uh, just three working days, and then there's like sort of four days off. And though we were not planning the next trip, we kind of figured that it's going to be a lost opportunity if we don't take advantage of this long weekend. So we are planning to do another road trip to do some fine testing in Napa. We just started the research, but it looks like it's quite challenging to find nicely designed hotels. Hopefully we find a good option. But so this is one of the tasks for the three days to come. As for the rest, uh, mostly exploring the city a little bit more. Originally we wanted to spend this week going to different areas. Thursday and Friday we'll try to put plan in action of discovering some of the areas in San Francisco and then maybe a couple of cities outside to see where we want to have our next apartment. But today we're just going to stay in the area, go to get some coffee beans because we're out and then explore the financial district and more specifically Salesforce Park and show you the tower. and it's like this long walk but it's pretty unique so I haven't seen the parks like this I think probably the closest would be New York High Line that I haven't seen yet but yeah you kind of walking through the park but then you are surrounded by these high rises and you can feel that it's elevated and there's also not too many people so it's yeah it's a really nice park <laughs> I wish I discovered it last week very positively surprised with the financial district area again I've been staying there for two steps away but because of the conference we didn't go much here and I quite liked it I mean it's surely high rises but it feels much nicer than Soma and I even consider for us to look an apartment in the financial district next time. We'll see. Right now I'm just enjoying the park. I also have this restaurant area, so this is where I'm headed now. And I'll see if there's a good coffee. If there is, I'll definitely get one. It turns out there is a coffee shop. And this is their terrace. And here's the view. And this is it. So I'm picking up some beans. They recommended this um, old one. So you know, so it's a brand new one, apparently it just arrived. So I'm following their recommendations plus it's the last pack. So what's in here? So 
I really like this place. I've got a scone and it's delicious. There's quite a bit of music, so I hope you have a good audio. But yeah, it feels like there's a lot of like business meetings and I, I kind of feel like I should have discovered the financial district earlier. I mean, last week it was a little complicated because of the conference. But yeah, I definitely prefer this area more than where our apartment is, even though it's like 15 minutes long. Um, yeah, and I love this coffee place, so it's like right in the park. I feel like it's also a good place to come with a computer and work, which people do, and there's like this one table with this amazing view, which is cool. And there is this whole other area, which is sort of a lobby. I'm pretty sure it's an office building or some other company. It's uh, very sunny weather, it's really nice, so yeah, I definitely like this place. So I had pretty nice coffee in the town and I can definitely recommend this park. I think it's a great place to just walk around or if you like jogging it's also a great option because you just have this long straight line and I'm not sure exactly what the distance is but it definitely feels like a great place for a jog and just sit around, relax, read a book, have a coffee. You can definitely feel there is this San Francisco vibe with a lot of people discussing business. You can definitely see people from around from this high rises and as you can see in the background it's a really green and nice space. So very pleasant surprise. I think I'll be back and I definitely recommend you if you're around. Getting ready to go and then gonna try again to go to the Salesforce Tower because yesterday I forgot my ID so I could only see the park but today I'm gonna give it another go and because I'm running late I'm cutting this kind of short and we're on the way to Salesforce Tower Clear. Apparently it's not as clear every day because San Francisco can get very foggy. But today we got a pretty clear view. You can see all the iconic points here and right now I'm looking at the marina. So this is the view basically and it's this hole I think is really big. And they're closing in 10 minutes so I'm gonna get a very quick visit. But you can see all this amazing views over there. From this side you can see two more bridges. There you have the iconic tower. There you can see the bridge. Alcatraz. The actual 360 view and just go all around. I'm gonna run through it because they're closing early today. So halfway through the rest of visitors. It's uh, before the Thanksgiving, so it's busier than usual. But we're almost done a full circle. <laughs> this is where we started. Space, I really like it here. It's a really cool space. I didn't expect it to be that great. to 
focus on the areas that people recommended as good areas to live in. Col Hollow, Pacific Heights and the Russian Hill. So they're kind of all in the same area. And this is also where this famous painted ladies, which are actually on the wall. So we have it in the apartment, but we haven't seen it. We will probably start with this. Have a look at these famous houses and then walk around and just see the area. We came to the famous painted ladies. These houses became famous because they were featured in movies, ads and TV shows. The most famous one is called the Full House. This view became a postcard view of San Francisco. On the weekend you'll probably find crowds here trying to take a picture of this iconic site. The square across offers the best viewpoint and the square itself is really charming. It has beautiful views and we came at a sunset so we had this magical sunlight. Area around also has a number of streets with the house is just as charming. And this is the next thing we are going to explore. Pacific Heights and I'm bouncing, it's hard to tell actually, but yeah, so there is like a bunch of stairs and like Upstairs. hills. So you should have a good grip because some of those like slopes don't have steps. They, we had a few steps up there, but here is just like a slope. And I don't know, do they have, well they don't have prison roads, right? It's not like Seattle. <laughs> you got me feeling Pacific Heights is a really beautiful area. There is a lot of spots for a perfect picture. You can see a lot of iconic houses and sloped streets. It's also home to one of the best gelatos in town and many restaurants that would be perfect to wrap up the long day of city discoveries. I decided to just do a brunch at home and then take a car and drive through the area, explore some of the outside of the city areas uh, like Mountain View, full on French cooking. delicious in-house brunch and I've mapped a few neighborhoods that we wanted to drive to the Mountain View and Sunnyvale and then I think on the way back we'll drive through the Pacific Heights and Cal Hollow. We're just planning to do a quick drive through and then see the places that we particularly liked and then maybe stop, park and like walk through a little bit. But yeah the goal is just to have an idea of different neighborhoods and then see where it feels like most homely, I would say, for our next apartment. The thing we're using is this on-demand Tesla rental that is in our building, which is really cool. It's a little pricey, so if we want to have it for a day, it's like $200, which honestly doesn't make sense compared to some other like classic uh, car rentals. But when it's an hour, uh, especially like we should have a promotion of like Friday. The areas we're going to are like 30-40 minutes 
away so hopefully we'll do it in two hours and it's definitely the best solution for this kind of plan So far, my first impression is the beautiful autumn leaves, which I don't think specific to the neighborhood, but to the area. A lot of trees and it's pretty. So we came to where the city hall is and so it's basically like downtown mountain view. It's kind of hard to navigate and know which streets should we walk on? We got a little bit of a feel of a city, so there is a lot of townhouses and this is a bank. That way there is a library and this is where we're gonna go and then grab a coffee in one of the coffee shops here. So just like make a quick tour just to have a sense of what it's like. Let's go! waiting for a coffee and we are just in downtown and found this coffee shop and next to it there is like vitality walls which are cool walls uh, like um, acai walls and smoothies and all of that um, so far like my favorite part is actually like all these autumn colors They're beautiful and it's sort of trees everywhere I haven't seen that many trees in San Francisco that are red and yellow and like basically autumn. So the coffee is neat. Personal delivery, yeah. Did they do a good job? Oh wow. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, so maybe we can live here. We got a good coffee. It was a doubles one actually. It's the first time I had doubles one. It also fits my outfit, so that's important. <laughs> <laughs> and croissant is good. And it's super pretty. We came to Stanford campus. We kind of got confused of where to park here, so we didn't go to the main building, but we parked where you can walk. And there is a coffee place nearby, so we're gonna check it. Nice area just to come walk around here. Give you an idea. This is the map. And we're here. This is the main quad. Seven hours driving on the highway. Far away, far away, far away. Every moment I was spending on regrets was such a waste, such a waste, such a waste. Looking on the city lights Flashing bright in my eyes Look up to the sky and I got this relief inside And there's no need to hide Welcome to Stanford! I'm not even sure if it's my own building, but when you look at a Google Maps it says Stanford right here. And it's a cool view. Let's go for the arch. I'm going all the way up 
I'm going all the way up Spontaneous travel, as usual, we are not quite sure which are the spots to visit, but this one seemed like a main square. So. The game we saw, <laughs> conquer. <laughs> we can go home now. hour going back but it ended up being almost four hours we checked the mountain view in sunny whale hard to say if we did it the right way but we were also trying to be efficient conclusion is really nice areas both of them for a long term there's a lot of houses in mountain view like at least the areas we drove through there was more houses than apartment buildings in sunny whale there was more apartment buildings so for the mid term, short term, it doesn't really make sense, I, I'd say, compared to the city because the office is in the city, it's still kind of a lot of commute. I think if we are coming back here for next time, which should be a few months, given our lifestyle, the best option would be finding something in Marina Pacific Heights, Richmond, and uh, having a car. So this would be, I think, probably perfect setup for the way we live in San Francisco. And then if we decide to move here for longer term, I think outside of the city is probably what we would consider. But for now, yes, San Francisco city, close to Marine District. The conclusion of week two in San Francisco, it's a nice city if you're in the right area. There is not as much green as I wish there was, unless you live next to the parks. But the parks are still quite massive, so it's, I think it's all about where you are located. It's nice weather, so this was the second week and out of 10 days, I only had two days that when it was raining. You always need a like jacket or a couple of layers because it's windy. And the things I like less is how uneven it is, so one street to the other you might have like a perfectly nice neighborhood and then like a homeless town with a lot of tents, different lifestyle that you're facing. Now that the conference is over, it's kind of back to normal. Soma, close to Tenderloin and then some of the financial district parts, it's sort of hit and miss, so it depends on the time and it's kind of random to when you're gonna have like this clean nice streets without garbage and then the next day or like one street over you can have like these groups hanging around and not the nicest experience walking through those places but i didn't face any violence happening it's just very unpleasant and a little bit unsettling the other thing to know is like the most of the crimes that they sort of do would be breaking to cars because the five years ago they actually decriminalized anything under a thousand euros i believe and still something without hurting people i think it's not considered a crime as long as it's under a certain amount so they kind of do a less risky activities and then the other thing i didn't mention last time but it smells sweet everywhere it's legal in california and I think in our particular floor, our particular building, there is a neighbor, I don't know who, but they, I feel like they just have it as a aromatherapy or I don't know, but like anytime we would come home, it's just the whole hallway has a strong smell of weed. So they feels like they are smoking it all day long. 
But yeah, this is what you should expect when you walk on the streets. It's just like city perfume. <laughs> if you had to choose one, it's good. probably gonna be a whip. And I think that's gonna be it for tonight. So gonna get packing and we'll tell you more about Napa Valley. The sort of perfect plan would be find a winery that does the wine tasting and some light meal for the lunch and then just finding wineries nearby that do the tasting. I don't think we'll do a tour, we usually not tour people, especially when we have a car, so we kind of have flexibility. We plan to maybe do a binary visit, and then when we're back in the city, park a car at the hotel and do wine tastings that are in a walking distance. So that's the plan, and I will see you in our trip to Napa. Bye! And it's